okay we have the square or the cube and we are going to cut the notch in it we are going to cut maybe right across so I'm gonna point here and click and release and then drag over here to the right and click and release so that didn't do anything other than they drew the square or the rectangle but once I go exit here from the sketcher I'm gonna make this point of interest by middle clicking See, it's much easier to work with it okay now I'm going to use the pocket command what that does it cuts into the part it cuts it as far as I want it cuts to the next plane I'm gonna just use dimensions I'm gonna say oh make it 10 I'm gonna preview it yeah that's about right where I want it to be so hit OK kaboom See, it cut right into the part guess what now you can use this face to draw on and now it's not gonna show but you know it's there and now you can draw a square and exit again and you can cut right into that see how it's nicely attached to the edge going right against it now I'm assuming it is otherwise I would have to measure to see if it actually is but for now I'm gonna assume that it's correct so I'm gonna go and select the uh, pocket command again I'm gonna reverse the direction by clicking the arrow and that will drop it down it will reverse the direction in which it will perform the function I'm gonna go to the next plane okay and I wanna cut a nice opening here oh, okay hit OK and I got a little part like this so this is working very well so as you can see it's not difficult right now you know I may not even get very fancy with it I don't know it very well but when I started in it I had no idea what to do so I want to start those people who are interested in it at least being able to um, make some simple shapes something that you can build on later on uh, I'm sure you, you, you probably will find somebody at work that has some familiarity with Katia and um, you can get books there are videos online such as mine <laughs> and uh, I'm sure you will be able to succeed so I'm going to um, do some fillets now so this part kind of looks nice or the edges aren't so sharp maybe that's the better way to put it I'm more concerned about the top edges versus the, s the lower ones so what I'm going to do is select the fillet edge fillet command and I'm going to select this edge and this edge and I'm gonna middle click hold it and left click and hold it and I'm gonna tumble it okay notice that the shape appears inside the bubble that actually does help with tumbling because notice that wherever the X is or the target it's as if you had it drawn up on a sphere and you were rotating the sphere and that's how the part is going to move so I'm going to select the last edge it's highlighted, I can preview it uh, yeah, that looks like a good fillet, 5 millimeters. it's not the best fillet, but it's there ok, you can also make this probably like an 8 and that should give you a nice corner relatively nice corner anyways a friend of mine uh, taught me how to do this in a different software package Henry if you are watching I appreciate it that sure works for me so go ahead and finish the rest of the fillets and then um, we are gonna see how that they should look if you fillet all of them 8 millimeters you can go a little bit further but for me 8 millimeters will suffice okay